Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. And I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports Hit subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, we got some good, more good news. Uh, reportedly, uh, on January 28th, Mikey Garcia will be, or I should say, on the Santa Cruz Fred Undercar, which is being targeted for January 28th. Mikey Garcia will be fighting Dehan Zaladikin for the WBC lightweight title. Now, that's really good news because um, I made I made the video not too, not too long ago saying that um, well it was from the boxing article of Mike Garcia saying that he would be fighting probably a lot of him for the title so he's holding true to his word and that's just, that's that, that's been reported here via badleftbook.com um, you know the the date is not date and venue are not set in stone yet but that's what's being discussed right now by promoter Lou DeBello. But they're saying that um, it's expected to be part of the Showtime car between, in the rematch between, which will feature uh, Crawford and Leo Santa Cruz, which is going to be great for his uh, continued exposure. I believe he actually like, he also fought on the, the the undercard for the first fight. He fought uh, that Rojas guy and he beat him. So my thoughts on this are simply this: you know, Mikey Garcia uh, is someone who has the potential to be uh, a for huge force at, at the, in the lightweight division. You know, we all know that. Before the promotional issues, he was on the fast track, being the pound, 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 pound star. Um, I, I still think he has a chance to do that. You know, Mike Garcia isn't that old, if I'm not mistaken. He, he's got to be like 20, what, eight? He's not. He can't be that old. Mike Garcia is. He is 28 years old. Yeah. So Garcia still isn't the prime of his career, physically, physically, physically speaking. And you know, there's a lot of action in that, in that, in that division. You know. You got guys like Jorge Linares, Felix Verdejo, Mason Menard, um, you know, Zlatikin, like, I'm, like who's going to fight, Shafikov, uh, Anthony Kralla, you know, the guy everybody wants to fight, Terry Flanagan. Um, I mean, there's, there's definitely some good good fighters in that big weight class, you know. Hank Lundy, can't forget Hank Lundy. Um, there's some guys at 135, some good fights to be made there for Mikey Garcia, and I think he's got a chance to, to really prove himself to be uh, one of the best fighters in boxing once again, and this is a good step towards that. Zalotikin is someone who's not, who's definitely, I would say, if he's not the weakest champion, he's definitely the second weakest champion. It's him and Terry Flanagan battling for the number one spot. Who, who's the weakest champion at lightweight? But uh, hopefully, man, uh, this this falls, through, this, this this happens because you know, as you know, in boxing, nothing's official or no contract is signed. You just never know with these things. But uh, as of right now, as I'm speaking, this is what's being reported: Mike Garcia to fight Dehan Zalotikin. For the WBC lightweight title on undercard of Leo Santa Cruz, uh, Carl Frampton, and their rematch. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, what do you think about this fight? If he defeats Zalotikin like most people will expect him to, which of the three champions would you like to see Mikey Garcia take on? Would you like to see him take on Linares, uh, Terry Flanagan, or Robert Easter Jr.? Um, obviously, I think my answer would probably be Linares. I think Linares is a heck of a fighter. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care guys.